Hi everyone, I'm Lisbeth. Thank you for tuning in on Moseholm Yoga. This is day two of your 10 days get into your yoga practice. I hope you feel amazing since day one and ready for some more. To begin with, just find a comfortable seated position. Anyhow, you sit nice and tall. You can let your hands rest to your thighs. And for a moment, close your eyes. Just take a moment to settle on your yoga mat. Take a moment to let your focus drift a bit deeper inwards. Guiding your focus to your heartbeat. Take some deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Notice how every inhale is lifting up, opening and creating space. And how every exhale is softening, giving you a grounding sensation. Maybe a gentle sway side to side. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Take another deep breath in. And as you let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. At the top, bring your palms together, close your eyes. And bring your thumbs to your heartbeat. Relax your shoulders back and down. Take another deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. One more time, a deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. And then just let your hands rest to your thighs. Gently open your eyes. From here, you take a lean to your right side. You place your right hand and your elbow to the ground. Lift your left arm to the sky and open up. Take a few deep breaths here. Maybe tip all the way over, maybe fold your body down. Opening up, you can reach your arm to the sky or a bit behind you. Just simply move and stretch however it feels good to your body. Just a few deep breaths. On an inhale, you lift right back through the middle. Come all the way over to the left side. Place your left hand and elbow down. Lift your right arm to the sky. Open up. Maybe tip all the way over. Again, you can just drop your head. Relax your neck. Just take a few deep breaths. And just simply move and stretch your body how it feels good. Deep breath to open, to feel spacious. And some long, slow breath out. To soften, letting go. And an inhale again back to the middle. And now you place your hands in front of you. You can walk them a few steps more forward. Go as far as it feels good. Maybe feel a nice stretch all the way to your lower back. Maybe all the way to your hips. You can drop your head, relax your neck. Or you can walk your hands a few steps to one side. Just for a few deep breaths. And then maybe walk your hands a few steps the opposite way. Just simply exploring, trying a bit around. Go with what feels best in your body. When you're ready, you make your way back to the middle. And slowly, gently walk your hands back towards your hips and place them all the way behind you. As you press your palms towards the ground, lift your chest towards the sky. Just open up here. And if it feels good, you can lift your hips up too. Open up the front of your body. 
And again, gently drop your hips back down to the ground. Come to your seated position. For a moment, just let your hands rest to your thighs. Again, close your eyes and guide your focus back to your heartbeat. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. And remember, you can always guide your focus back to your heartbeat. If at any point your mind starts to wander, you focus all of a sudden is somewhere else, just kindly guide your focus back to your breath, back to your heartbeat. Again, gently open your eyes. From here, lean your body weight a bit towards your left side, so you can stretch your right leg out to the side. You can place your right hand to the ground. And if it feels very tight here on the back of your leg, you can always keep a soft bend in your knee. Otherwise, just straighten out the leg. Place your right hand to the ground, inhale, lift your left arm to the sky, open up. Take a deep breath in as you open up your body. And as you exhale, you can soften your right elbow as you tip over towards the right side. Maybe go halfway and feel a nice stretch to the left side of your body. Maybe you want to drop all the way down, maybe reaching for your toes, your foot or your leg. Rocking a bit side to side if that feels good. Just a few deep breaths. On an inhale again, you lift up your upper body coming into a twist. Place your right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you. Inhale to sit nice and tall. And exhale, easy, gently twist your spine. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Inhale again, back to the middle. And then you swap the side, so you bend your right leg in and stretch out your left leg. Same thing to this side. If it feels a bit tight, you can keep a soft bend in your knee. Place your left hand to the ground. Inhale, lift your right arm to the sky, open up. And as you exhale, you can softly bend your left elbow as you tip over towards the left side. Maybe you want to go all the way down, grab for your toes, your foot or your leg. If it doesn't work for you, just go to where it feels comfortable. Just take a few deep breaths. You can try a bit around. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. On an inhale again, you lift up your upper body. Coming into a twist, placing your left hand to your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale to sit nice and tall. And exhale, easy, gently twist your spine. And then inhale again back to the middle. You can bend your both legs in and then gently make your way to all four on your hands and your knees. Just go easy and you, as you make your way to all four, hands and knees, spread your fingers nice and wide. And then just start moving your spine around anyhow it feels good to move. You can arch it, you can round it. You can move a bit side to side, round and round. Just lots of movement, however it feels good to move your body here. Taking some deep breath. Deep breath in by your nose. And some long, slow breath out by your mouth. Getting into any little tight spot that might be, any little sore place. When you're ready, you tuck your toes. Take a deep breath in as you lift your hips up nice and high. And exhale as you're softening your heels towards the ground and making your way into your downward facing dog. And just take your time to settle in your down dog. Maybe a gentle walk on the spot, shifting your body weight from one heel to the opposite. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears, relax your neck. On an inhale, you lift up nice and high to your tippy toes, lift your hips up high. And exhale, softening your heels back down towards the ground. 
two more times. Inhale, lift up nice and high to your tippy toes. And exhale, softening your heels to the ground. One more time, inhale, lift up nice and high. And exhale, easy down. And then from here, you walk your hands and your feet all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Just one bouncy step at a time. And as you reach the top, just bend your knees. Let your torso fold over your legs. Just drop your head, relax your neck and your shoulders. On an inhale, you roll up to stand one notch at a time. Open your arms out to the sides, reach to the sky. And as you exhale again, just bend your knees and fold over your legs. Two more times like this. On an inhale, you roll up to stand one vertebra at a time. In your own pace, opening out and reach up tall. And exhale again, just bend your knees and fold over your legs. One last time in your own pace, you roll all the way up. Opening out and reach up tall, maybe a small back bend this time. And as you exhale again, just bend your knees and fold over your legs. On an inhale, you lift up halfway to a long flat back. And exhale, palms down. And then you step your feet back so you're in a plank pose. A high plank like a top of a push-up. You can keep a soft bend in your elbows. Maybe gentle rock side to side. Keep your breath slow and deep. Just staying nice and easy. Maybe rock a bit forward and back. Just a few deep breaths. And then we're going to do a side plank, starting on your right side. On an inhale, you lift up your hips, roll to the right side into a side plank, lifting your left arm to the sky, open up. You can keep your feet stacked or unstacked. Or you can always bring the, the lower knee and shin down for a bit more stability. So any version of a side plank you prefer. Just take a few deep breaths. Deep breath in, and long, slow breath out. Again, you come back to your plank in the middle. Maybe rock a bit side to side. And then we're gonna do side plank on your left side. Inhale, lift up your hips, roll to the left side into a side plank. Lifting your right arm to the sky, opening up. And again, if you prefer, you can always bring a knee and a shin down for a bit more stability. Any version of a side plank you prefer. Breathe in deep. Again, back to your plank in the middle. Both hands to the ground. This time you lower your knees and your hips down for a nice up dog. You can softly bend your elbows. You can just move a bit here. Release and open up. And if it feels a bit too much in your lower back to stay up here, you can always bend your elbows a bit more. Come down a little bit lower. Relax your shoulders back and down. Inhale, stretch your arms and lift up your chest. And then you lift your hips and bring your hips to your heels into a child's pose. And just take a few deep breaths here. Maybe gentle sway side to side. On an inhale again, you lift up your hips, come tall, fall on your hands and your knees. You can move your spine how it feels good to move. And then you tuck your toes. Inhale, lift your hips up nice and high. And exhale, you make your way into your downward facing dog. Taking a few deep breaths. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. On an inhale, you lift up your right leg down, dog split, open up your hip. And just take a few breaths to move around to this side of the hip joint. You can bend the knee, you can stretch it out. You can swing it around anyhow it feels good. Just to release and open up to this side of the hip. Breathe in deep. On an inhale, again, you stretch up your leg nice and tall. 
and exhale, you step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, press your feet against the ground, takes you up nice and high arms to the sky. And exhale, soft and halfway down. Two more times, inhale, fill up. And exhale, easy down. One more time, inhale, takes you up tall. And exhale, all the way back down, place your hands to the ground. And step back to your down dog. Same thing, left side, inhale, lift up your left leg, down dog split, open up your hip and take a few breaths to move around to this side of the hip joint. You can bend the knee, you can stretch it out, you can swing the leg around anyhow, it feels good. Just a few deep breaths. And then inhale again, you stretch up your leg nice and tall towards the sky and exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, press your feet against the ground, takes you up nice and high. And exhale, soft and halfway down. Two more times, inhale, fill up. And exhale, easy down. One more time, inhale, takes you up tall. And exhale, all the way back down, place your hands to the ground. And step back to your down dog. One more time, inhale, lift up your right leg, down dog split, open up your hip. And exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, press your feet against the ground, takes you up nice and high. And exhale, soft and halfway down. One more time, inhale, fill up. And exhale into your warrior two. Ground your feet, settle in your warrior. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. You're bending your front knee and just make sure that your knee doesn't come over your toes, just more or less your knee over your ankle. You don't have to think too much about it, but you can always just check so you feel good in your knee, always. Relax your shoulders, wait from your ears, feel free to move a bit if it feels nice to move here. No need to feel stuck in any pose, anywhere. And then inhale, you gently press your feet against the ground as you lift your arms to the sky nice and high. And exhale, warrior two. Two more times, inhale to fill up. And exhale, easy down. One more time, inhale, takes you up high. And exhale, softening into your warrior pose. On an inhale, you lean back, reverse warrior, you can stretch the front leg. And exhale, coming forward into your open triangle, placing your right hand to either the ground, the foot or your leg. Lifting your left arm to the sky and open up, you can turn your gaze towards the sky. And if it feels better to bend the front knee, you can always bend the front knee. Take a few deep breaths here. From here, you softly bend your front knee, reach your top arm behind you, lift yourself up tall. And exhale into your warrior two. On an inhale, lean back, reverse warrior. And exhale, coming forward, bend your knee, rest your forearm to your thigh. Coming into your extended side angle, lift your left arm to the sky, open up. And if it feels good to move your upper arm here, your upper body, you can move however it feels good. Just to release and open up. Letting go, just open up the shoulder. Moving however it feels good in your body. Just a few deep breaths. And then inhale again, you lift up nice and tall. And exhale into your warrior too. Inhale, lean back, reverse warrior. And exhale, coming forward again, both hands to the ground. Then step back to your down dog. Take a few deep breaths. And we do the same thing left side. Inhale, lift up your left leg, down dog split, open up your hip. And exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, press your feet against the ground, takes you up nice and tall. And exhale, soft and halfway down. One more time, inhale, fill up. And exhale into your warrior two. Ground your feet, settle in your warrior. Take a deep breath in as you lift up nice and tall arms to the sky. And exhale into your warrior two. Two more times, inhale, fill up. And exhale, easy down. One more time, inhale, takes you up high. And exhale, softening into your warrior pose. 
On an inhale, you lean back, reverse warrior. You can stretch the front leg. And exhale, coming forward into your open triangle. You place your hand where you prefer, to the ground or your leg or your foot, lifting your right arm to the sky and open up. Taking a few deep breaths here. And as well, of course, on this side, you can bend the front knee if it feels better. Just your version of your triangle, so it feels comfortable and natural in your body. Breathe in deep, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. From here again, you softly bend your front knee, reach your top arm behind you, lift yourself up tall. And exhale into your warrior two. On an inhale, lean back, reverse warrior. And exhale, coming forward into your extended side angle, bend your knee, rest your forearm to your thigh, lift your back arm to the sky. Or you can move around your upper arm, you can move around your upper body, anyhow it feels good. Just a few deep breaths. Just feel free to move anyhow it feels best in your body. All about feeling good. On an inhale again, you lift up nice and tall arms to the sky. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lean back, reverse warrior. And exhale, coming forward, both hands to the ground. And step back to your down dog. Take a few deep breaths. And then from here, you walk your hands back to your feet, one step at a time. And as you reach your toes, just bend your knees, let your torso fold over your legs. On an inhale, you roll up to stand, one notch at a time. Open your arms out to the side, reach to the sky. At the top, you grab your right wrist. Inhale to stretch your body nice and long. And exhale, scoop your hips to the right, stretch your arms to the left. Maybe a soft bend in your knees, gentle sway side to side. Deep breaths to open, create some space. And long, slow exhales, softening. On an inhale, back through the middle. You grab your left wrist, stretch your body nice and long. Scoop your hips to the left, stretch your arms to the right. Relax your shoulders, soften your face. Deep breath in to open up, and long, slow breath out, softening, letting go. On an inhale again, back to the middle, stretch your body tall, maybe a small back bend. And exhale, bend your knees and just fold over your legs. On an inhale, you lift up halfway to a long flat back. And exhale, palms down, and make your way back to your down dog. Taking a few deep breaths. On an inhale again, you lift up your right leg, down dog split, open up your hip. And this time you land into your pigeon pose. Bring your knee and your shin down between your hands. So you land into your pigeon. Just take your time to adjust so you're comfortable in your pigeon. Maybe you like your shin bone to be more low parallel more or less parallel with the top of the yoga mat. Or maybe you like the leg to be more diagonal, the foot down towards the opposite side of your hip. Just find a position that feels comfortable. Might feel a nice stretch to the back of your right hip. Maybe the opposite side. Just take a few deep breaths. Maybe you wanna sit up nice and tall in your pigeon. Or if you prefer, you can bring your upper body down. Maybe letting your forehead rest to your arms or your hands. And guiding your focus again a bit deeper inwards. Take some deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Softening your face. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders and relax your hips.
deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. On an inhale again, you lift up your upper body into your seated pigeon. And just take a few deep breaths here. And then you lean towards your left side. Tuck your back toes so you can step your right foot back to your down dog. Taking a few deep breaths. And we do the same thing left side. And then inhale, you lift up your left leg down, dark split, open up your hip. And as you exhale, you land into your pigeon pose. Bring your knee and your shin down between your hands. And adjust until you have a good position on this side. And maybe the two sides doesn't feel the same, so don't worry about it. Just adjust until it feels comfortable to this side. And don't worry about if you both sides of the hips doesn't come down to the ground at first. Just take your time. No need to push or force anything. You have plenty of time. And just make sure it feels comfortable and you feel a nice gentle hip opener and a nice stretch to the back of your hip maybe. It's a little bit different how you feel it. Often if you have some sciatica problems, this pigeon pose can be really good. Maybe you want to sit up nice and tall, or you can bring your upper body down. Finding a nice place to settle in your pigeon. Guiding your attention back to your breath. Deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. Allowing your body to just meld into this pose. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Softening your face. And relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. And relax your hips to the ground. On an inhale again, you lift up your upper body into your seated pigeon. Just take a few deep breaths here. Maybe gentle sway side to side. And then you lean to your left side so you can bring your right leg to the front. And then you bring your both legs out in front of you to either sides. Maybe scoop your hips a bit more forward. To begin with, place your hands behind you, lean your body backwards, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you bring your upper body forward. You can walk your hands a few more steps forward. Maybe come all the way down to your elbows. You can drop your head, relax your neck. Maybe gentle sway side to side. If you prefer, you can walk your hands a few steps to the right for a few deep breaths. Or maybe a few steps towards the left. You just go with what feels best in your body.
And when you're ready, you make your way back to the middle, taking a few deep breaths. And then gently walk your hands back towards your hips and place them all the way behind you. Again, you can press your palms towards the ground as you lift your chest towards the sky. And if it feels good, you can lift your hips up to just open up here. And again, gently drop your hips back down. From here, you bring your legs together. Bend your knees and then bring them with you as you roll down to your back. Give yourself a nice hug, a nice squeeze. Maybe rock a bit side to side. Or you can draw circles with your hips. Anything at all that feels nice and comfortable and relaxing for your lower back. And when you're ready, you make your way into your Shavasana position. Anyhow you like comfortable. You can let your palms face the sky. Or you can place one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Take a deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. Deep breath in. Long, slow breath out. Allowing your whole body to relax. Let the floor carry your body weight. Take some deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. And let your focus point be your deep breath. Deep breath in. Long, slow breath out. And you can stay as long as you prefer in your Shavasana. When you feel ready to slowly bring some movement back to your body, begin by deep in your inhales. Lengthen your exhales. And slowly begin moving your fingers, your toes. Maybe your wrists and your ankles, your arms, your legs. Or maybe you feel like stretching your whole body nice and long. You can stretch anyhow, it feels good. Maybe draw your knees to your chest one more time. Give yourself a nice hug. And I thank you for day two of yoga. And then just keep your eyes closed as you roll to one side of your body. And gently make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Anyhow, you sit nice and tall. Just to close off today's yoga practice together. Together we take a deep breath in by the nose. Let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. At the top, bring your palms together, close your eyes. And bring your thumbs to your heartbeat. Relax your shoulders back and down. 
Take another deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. One more time together, a deep breath in. And a long, slow breath out. And as you feel your heart pumping, thank yourself for taking your time for your yoga practice today. And thank you for sharing your time and your energy. And when you're ready to go out and enjoy your day, you can gently open your eyes. Namaste. I hope you feel absolutely amazing. I hope you're still ready for some more. And I'm looking forward to see you at day three.